Welcome back to the continuation of the IPB series of Doctrine Digest videos covering IPB. This episode focuses on step one to find the operational environment. The importance of step one is defining of relative aspects of an OE in time and space for a commander. This step identifies the physical space a unit will occupy along with the areas that may influence or be of interest to a commander's assigned area of operations. The commander's AO is normally provided in a higher uh, order from a higher headquarters. Uh, but step one then further defines the area of interest or AOI and following an initial mission variable assessment makes recommendation to the commander to either adjust the AO to a higher headquarters or continue to step two of IPB and continue to support the military decision making process. The intelligence staff identifies characteristics or activities within an operational environment that may influence friendly and threat COAs provide command decision points with focus on mission variables of the enemy, who are we positioned against, general composition and disposition. For example, the 88th Mechanized Division culminated offensive operations 24 hours ago and is preparing defensive positions along X River at 75% strength of their T-90 armor, BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, and 52mm towed artillery assets. Terrain, general characteristics from initial observation, is it a desert? Are we in a mountainous terrain? What are the major water features like for mobility considerations? What major man-made infrastructure exists like airfields, bridges, and highways? And then who does it potentially favor? Weather, is it winter? Is it hot? What are the seasonal averages or winds or precipitation, sunrise, and so forth? Focus on the potential weather impacts for military operations. And then finally, civil considerations. Is it an urban environment? What ethnicities are located within AO? And what are the estimated populations and locations throughout the operational environment? Staffs then evaluate current operations and intelligence holdings to determine information gaps, develop assumptions and facts, MDMP step two supporting, initiate requests for information and information collection to higher headquarters. For briefing purposes, an overlay with an identified AO and AOI should be labeled for recommended approval by the commander. Chapter 3 in ATP 2-01.3 provides an example that you should review and compare to your Mission Command SOP. If you're using a Mission Command system like CPCE or D6A or CPOF, create an overlay and highlight the AO and AOI with graphic control measures as shown in Field Manual 1-02.2 Military Symbols. You then would conduct the Mission Variables Assessment in a supportive narrative with locations for initial shared understanding of the commander and staff. Step one is not relatively time intensive, but is important to set conditions for the staff to understand where we are and to move into IPB step two for focused analysis if there are no available time constraints. The initial analytical work in step one can also assist in initial troop leading procedures by lower echelon organizations when your operations section publishes their initial war org. Visit the Army Publishing Directorate website for a complete listing of active Army publications and see Chapter 3, ATP 2-01.3, Intelligence Preparation of the Battlefield, for a more in-depth review of Step 1 of the IPD process.